The Best's PC. Have you recently joined the ranks of the PC elite? Here's a list of games you should install. The Witcher 3. There's no shortage of ambition in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Geralt of Rivia's latest adventure is massive, and while many games these days have sprawling landscapes, The Witcher 3 is utterly dense. Every nook and cranny is filled with memorable characters, clever writing, and rewards for curious players. The main story is as thrilling as it is emotionally draining, and side quests are actually worth doing. Civilization V the legendary turn-based strategy series changed things up significantly with Civilization V to make would-be world domination tons more streamlined. Maps are easier to navigate, crucial information flows easier, and it's the best-looking entry in the family tree. Final Fantasy XIV – A Realm Reborn in 2010, Square Enix launched Final Fantasy XIV Online, and it was just the worst thing ever. Buggy, overcomplicated, unfinished, a mess. The developers spent three years rebuilding the game from the ground up, and the end result is one of the finest massively multiplayer online role-playing games ever made. It's everything fans love about Final Fantasy. Lush artwork, strong story, gorgeous music, only bigger, all wrapped around a traditional MMO framework. Metal Gear Solid V with its impressive technology, meticulous design, and huge open world, The Phantom Pain is easily one of the best stealth games ever made. It's also the goofiest. There's nothing else like it. The Witness. You're alone on an island, surrounded by puzzles. An extremely complicated game that is really very simple. Some of the puzzles are obvious. They're on screens right in front of you, stacked in orderly rows. Other puzzles are much less easy to find. All of them will stymie and confound you, but over time you'll gradually dismantle them until the game's grand design is laid out in front of you like the workings of a finely crafted watch. Some games make you level up your character to access new areas. This one makes you level up yourself. There are few more satisfying feelings in gaming than when you finally realize the solution to a puzzle in The Witness. With a click, a new door opens. Kentucky Route Zero. Just a man and a dog looking to make a delivery. That's how it all begins anyway. But Kentucky Route Zero quickly becomes a mythical adventure through a land left behind by time. An odyssey in magical realism that feels grand and mysterious in a way that very, very few modern video games can muster. It's not like anything you've ever played. And for that alone, you should play it. StarCraft II. It's one of the very few video games that can be called a national obsession. Elite players of Blizzard's real-time strategy sequel can out-earn corporate middlemen in China or Korea. But the sci-fi conflict simulator's most significant currency is the devotion from millions all over the world. Divinity Original Sin When it came out in 2014, Divinity Original Sin already seemed too good to be true. Here we had a PC RPG that combined turn-based tactical combat, Ultima-style world simulation, and pen and paper co-op role-playing. It was great. A year later, Original Sin has been re-released in an enhanced edition with a number of major improvements. The game now works well with controllers, and it's now possible to play through the entire game in split-screen co-op. There are a bunch of new items and abilities, the story's been reworked, and the script is now fully voice acted. One of the best CRPGs in recent memory got a whole lot better, and we finally added it to the list. Total War Shogun 2 you can almost hear the battle cries and smell the gunpowder in what is arguably Creative Assembly's finest strategy game, which gives players the goal of ascending to supreme military domination against rival feudal lords. Improvements in AI behavior and the introduction of skills allocation let you be a more flexible commander than in previous Total War games. Undertale Undertale might look like a retro-style JRPG, but it's actually a clever, forward-thinking role-playing game. As a human stuck in a world of monsters, you decide whether you want to win encounters with wanton violence or clever context-based interactions. Talking, joking, petting, etc. Undertale keeps track of everything you do. Every life you take ultimately has consequences. Despite those grim trappings, it can be an incredibly warm, fuzzy, and funny game. Whether you slaughter or befriend everyone, or walk a middle path, the writing in this game is top tier, and the plot hides a treasure trove of secrets that players still haven't fully uncovered. Portal 2 Call it the Superman 2 or Empire Strikes Back of video games. Valve's follow-up to a classic improves on the humor, characterization, and puzzle-solving of its predecessor to deliver a tight, focused experience full of poignancy and humor. XCOM 2 XCOM 2 refines or overhauls almost every little thing about 2012's XCOM Enemy Unknown, a game that was already good enough to win Kotaku's 2012 Game of the Year award. The game is meaner and faster than its predecessor. Most missions have timers that push you forward and force you to take risks. 
and the new alien types will break even your most time-tested strategies. You'll get even more attached to your team of customizable soldiers than ever, which makes it all the harder to watch them die horribly in the field. Watch out for snakes, man.